Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I am doing my very first ever lookbook, I guess they call them. Anyway, I thought um, I picked up some new clothing for the fall winter season and I thought that I would come and share it with you and instead of just um, showing it to you, I will show it to you and then have a side picture of me modeling it, you know. And um, just some little tips along, you know, the way as we're talking. And I actually had some, I didn't really worry about my hair and makeup and stuff like that. It was all about the outfit. And, you know, I threw on some jewelry. Some of my jewelry is older. You're not going to be able to find it. Some of it, a lot of my earrings are, some are from Joelle. But uh, some are from Lisa, Lisa D1's blog. And uh, anyway, uh, I will link absolutely everything I show you underneath. And if some of the items are old, I will try to find in that brand something that is very, very similar. Okay? So bear with me, my friends. And it's, um, it's all different types of looks. And I better check the lighting and make sure it's okay. I think it's all right. For this video, we're just going to deal with it. Let me put my camera top up there. And then later, when I'm going crazy looking for it, will you, one of you please tell me where I put it. All right, I'm on an angle. I don't know if that works, but I wanted to be able to hold the clothes up. Anyway, here we go. All right, so the first outfit that I got, I really love flowing clothes. And you'll see as I model this, uh, that it actually is a very feminine top. And it's just a very flowy, it has a little tie here, and it is a um, not your daughter's jeans top. And I just really, really love the color combination. I just thought it had a very sensitive feel. Sensitive. S yes, sensitive. No, feminine feel to it. And the jeans that I paired it with. Now, I really have a hard time with jeans because uh, I want them to be dark. A lot of jeans have texture as far as color in them. I have larger thighs. I don't want to accentuate them. So sometimes when you go for the trendy jeans, they're not always flattering to a heavier thigh. So I have a really hard time with jeans. I don't buy really expensive jeans because moi doesn't always stay the same size. But anyway, I do try to find really nice jeans. And these are from Ann Taylor. And you'll see that they are a straight fit. They are dark. They just have plain black on the back, but they are a curvy um, jean. So anyway, I think this outfit looks really, really nice together. And I paired it with my Cole Haan black booties. And I just really like this outfit. But anyway, in the uh, I wear a size 8. In most of the jeans I'm showing you are size 8. All right, because they're all kind of skinnies. And the sixes fit me in certain areas, but not so much in the thigh area. And I will say that these jeans are all high-waisted, which is very flattering on an aging woman, okay? And it also helps to suck in a muffin top. Unless your muffin top is out of control and you need to work on it a little, then you know. Anyway, okay. So the second one, uh, I paired with a pair of black jeans. And this top I showed you in a haul not too long ago. It is the... Um, let me tell you, it is the BCB Maximaro that I bought at Marshalls, just a long sleeve, gray and black. I found this sweater by Nick and Zoe. I said Nick and Zoe because the girl in the store always says Nick and Zoe, and I thought, well, she works with the vendors. It's Nick and Zoe, okay? All right, so this here I just thought was a beautiful sweater. It has a nice detail down the back. And then it has like a very large ribbing, but the ribbing is not tight, so it's not hugging, as you can see. And it has a texture to it because the knit changes from the arm to the sleeve. And it's very flowy. It took me a while to get used to these uneven things, but I think it really works. And with this top, I love black and gray anyway. They're some of my most favorite colors. And I just thought it was really great. And I paired it with a pair of black skinnies. Again, these are, now this brand is also Ann Taylor. And this is the high-waisted, high-rise, they're called, uh, curvy skinnies. Just simple, plain and black, as you can see. And again, I paired those 
with the same boots from Cole Haan. And I just think it looks great. Okay, outfit number two. Let's move on to three. Now three, four, five, and six, or what I did is I wore one pair of slacks and I changed the upper part and intermingled things so that I could make several outfits out of it. So these pants I showed you, and I'm sure the HD camera will pick up every little piece of Bindi's white fur, but she's my dog, she's my family, I love her, it's there. Um, these are the Nick and Zoe tights, and they have a little uh, seam down the front, but it's a flat seam, and as you can see, they hug tightly. And one of the outfits that I paired it with was just a simple jean top. The jean top, as you can see, goes down over the junk, which is very important. I like the sleeves rolled up, but you can do anything you want with it. And again, paired it with some boots by Cole Haan. Yes, these are Cole Haan. I didn't want to tell you they were Cole Haan if they're not. I love these booties. They're very comfortable. I wear them all day long. And also, uh, I have them in another color. I will link them below for you, okay? Now, I kept the Nick and Zoe jeans on for the next outfit. And I found this at Lord & Taylor. And this is the Karen Kane brand. And I'm not, I was never very big into cowl necks, but for, you know, when you live in a place where it's winter all the time, you have to suck it up and wear them. So anyway, this one I loved because it was a very flowy top. Let me put the pants down so you can focus just on the top. It was a very flowy top and it was longer in the back than it is in the front, but again, covers all the junk. This is very important with age. Well, it's very important. I don't think any girl should walk around with everything hanging out in tights. I really don't. And I kept it with the um, Nick and Zoe tights. You can wear it with the booties, or you can get more adventurous and wear it in a tall boot also. And these boots you'll see in another outfit also. I'm very big on buying pieces that can be worn with many different items and look like you have something new on every time. All right, the next top is from Nick and Zoe, and I just loved it. Again, I paired it with the same leggings. It's a a short turtleneck and it is very it's fitted as you can see and it has a nice little pattern that goes on in the front and it has fringe on the bottom but it has a slight angle that cuts up on the side but the fringe in the back hangs lower it's hard to see in the video because I have black on black but if I separate this for you you can see that it has great fringe on the bottom. Now, I'm not a big fringe person at all. I think the lighting, the sun is changing, so the light is bright. bright. Let me go shut that door, because I don't want... I, just let me shut the door. <laughs> okay, I shut the door. That should be better. All right, so let me get back to the outfit. The Nick and Zoe slacks, and then this top, which I think is just fabulous. I really, really do. And again, everything... This whole outfit would be at Lord & Taylor. I will definitely link it below. Now, the next one I paired this with, and again, I don't know if I showed you the boots, but you can go with your fancier high boot. If you want to wear a flat black boot with that, it's fine. Or you can go with a short booty. I think I had it on in the video. I made the video this morning. I was just trying the out things on. That's why everything still has its tags on. I bought them and I was trying them on this morning. I thought, well, I'm trying them on. I'm just gonna film myself and that's what I did. So the tags are all hanging out, but I'm keeping everything. So the next one I also paired with these leggings and I found this at Marshall's and at first I went, I love the color combination of this. And then I really looked in and I said, you know, I think this will just look really great on. So I bought this and it's one of those large, it looks like it's going to be one of the big tops, but it looks more like a poncho type. And it has some buttons down the side and the back is plain. That's what I liked. If it had been striped all the way around, I would not have liked it. And it is a turtleneck. It is so, I think it's very chic looking. I just love it. And uh, I paired it with the black leggings and again with my Kohan chunky boots. All right, so let's move on. Uh, okay, uh, it's a little dressier. Now the, the pants, of course, are the Nick and Zoe tights. And I paired it with a, I found this at Marshall's. 
and it's a Tahari brand, but you could find a long, it's very long. You can find, and it's very, very simple, no design, no nothing, because I wanted the top, as you can see, the top has some sparkle to it. it Let me get it off the hanger. This holds a video up an awful long time. I loved, loved, loved this because it has a little bit of silhouette to it, so it really is flattering. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it has tiny little sequins, so it can really be nice for a very smart, chic holiday uh, outfit. And I'm going to bring it closer to see if you can see the sparkles. I just think it's beautiful. And it has a zipper that goes up the back, and it's really, really pretty. So I paired it with that and I put the jacket over it because I show it to you alone, but I prefer it with the jacket. I just think it becomes a much more, um, I think it becomes more feminine, chic, and classier. I really do. And with this one, I did wear it with, these boots are Cole Haan. Cole Haan fits my feet very well. Um, and they are suede. I've had these for a couple of years. They are just beautiful. They have little rings and they have a bow that ties on the back of the boot. And I just think it's really beautiful. So I wore that or you can wear, as I show, these are Ivanka Trump and they are a beautiful holiday shoe. I hope it's showing up. Um, it is a silver glitter shoe underneath with a beautiful lace pattern over. So I, to dress it up for holiday, put the two of them together and I think it looks really, really nice. Now we're going to move into the next outfit that I have for you. And it is a, now this top is a Lord & Taylor and it is just a oversized boxy top and it is really it's very very soft it is their um, I think it's merino but it's very 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 soft very simple and plain little slips up the side but the back goes a little bit longer so that when I'm wearing my brown Nick and Zoe pants let me get them out so when I'm wearing my brown Nick and Zoe pants Zoe 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 pants um, it covers the butt, all right? So now I decided for the next outfit, well, I don't really like to walk around with my junk on preview or even close to it. So I thought, well, I would probably feel more comfortable if I put it on with a beautiful oversized sweater. So this is a Nick and Zoe. I love this line of clothing and it is just beautiful. As you can see, it has a beautiful flow to it and just really brings this outfit to life. And with it, I wore my Coach brown boots and they look like this. Again, these were from a couple of years ago, but if I can find anything like them, I will definitely put the link below for you. They are beautiful, all brown leather, just great, perfect heel. These. And if I wanted to be a little sassier, I would probably go into this. But here's another tip for you, and I'm sure many of you already know this. I am very long-waisted. All of my height comes from my waist up. My legs are not very long. They're short, actually. So if I stay within the same color as my pants, it makes my legs look longer. So I'm not always one to put a lighter shoe on because it chops you right off. And if you have short legs, your legs look short. If you keep the same color running, your legs will look longer. So that is what I did with this outfit. All right, so now we're gonna move on is, the jeans are from, who are these? This is the Saint Honor Jean Collection in Slim. And this is, but I think it's the Kirby Slim. And this is White House Black Market. And it's just a pair of dark jeans. They do have a little bit of wash going on right here. And I usually avoid the wash because I have heavier thighs and you don't want to put that wash in the front of the leg or the back where we all get that little pucker of fat underneath the butt cheek because it'll accentuate it. But I thought these were okay and I really loved the color and the fit and they just look like that from behind. 
and uh, I wore the eight in this. And I buy the regular. If you're taller, of course, you'd go with the long. So then I took a Lord & Taylor white t-shirt with it, and I just put it on. It's just your nice square tee, and very, very soft. This is the Saks Lord & Taylor 424 fifth. And in the Lord & Taylor brand, they do run a little bit lot larger. I can wear this small, but for some t-shirts, I like a more loose look. And um, I wear the mediums in that. So I took this pair of jeans, and I put those together. And then I put on a leopard below the belt um, belt. <laughs> it's called, it's leopard below the belt. Actually, my really good friend Michelle from Makeup MLC, when she got tinier and tinier, she sent this to me because she couldn't wear it anymore. But I think Lisa, Lisa D1's blog is where you can uh, get these. And if she doesn't carry them anymore, I'm sure that below the belt somewhere is sold around. So with this belt, the jeans and the white top, I put, because again, I would wear just the white top and the jeans and the belt, <clears throat> excuse me, for summer, but it's, you can't do that here in the fall and you'll be freezing your butt off to look pretty and I'm not about that. I want to look good and be warm. So I will take this, these jeans, I'm just going to put them in here and they will be, and then here's the belt, which were, you can see the outfit on me, but the belt. So then I'm going to go back to that Tahari sweater that I bought at Marshall's, the very long black one, and I'm going to put that over it because then it makes it a very chic, classy outfit, and it gives me the warmth I need to exist in this godforsaken place that I live, okay? And again, I would take, now if, if it were Lou and I and he could drive me up to the place and drop me off, I would wear it with my leopard pumps, and these are Saks Fifth Avenue brand, and I got these at the outlet store for a steal. Okay, but they are, this. I love these shoes, love them. I wish, if I can find them for you, I'll put them linked on, under below. But I just thought it was okay, the leopards don't match, but we don't have to be matchy-matchy. So, okay, so moving on to the next outfit, I um, kept on the black house, what are these? the White House Black Market Jeans that I just told you about. And I found this top at Target. And I thought, well, that's kind of cute for casual. And so I bought it, and it is kind of interesting. And I bought the medium. It's the Massimo brand, and it has tiny little pleats here. It's very long, but it's rounded on the bottom. It's navy blue, one of my most favorite colors, along with black. And the little sleeves are black. And they're made to be, they kind of look like the sleeves might be suede, but they're not. And that is what it looks like. So I took the jeans, and I have a blue sweater that Lord & Taylor still has this, but I bought it last year. And let me put this on for you. Now this one here doesn't have a lot going on, so you definitely would have to put some chains or something to break up the all the blue. But I just wore this sweater over that with the jeans. It's really nice, and I love navy, and it's, I love navy especially on blondes. I just think the blonde hair against navy looks beautiful. So and I went into a pair of lucky jeans. Now here. Um, I don't know if I'll leave the cut in because it just, I went, oh, that's horrible. But I may just to be realistic. If you don't see what I'm talking about, I decided I could not do it. I mentioned that I have bigger legs, okay? Um, they're not humongous, but I carry that little pocket under my butt like most women do. And you know, God, when he drafted me, he was using a crayon. And when he was, you know, Designing me, he went outside the lines when it came to my legs, okay? So, I, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. I work out really hard on them, but that's just the way it is, and we have to accept some things. So what I do is I take all the things that I think, mm, that's okay, and I play those areas up, okay? So the thighs, I try to hang it loose, keep it down. And to be honest with you, stretchy pants and me, like stretchy jeans, uh, they're iffy iffy. These are not stretchy. The lucky jeans are my most favorite. And, uh, these are the sweet, straight, relaxed fit. Now here's where uh, I, I usually, like I said, stay away from this. But you know, some trends I'll let a little bit in. Another thing is I dress for my body. I do not dress for the trends. 
Know your body. When you look at yourself and you say, I look good, you're wearing what's right for your body. But if you're like trying to cover it up or layering a long sweater, this, that, you know where your faults are. And don't be so hard on yourself because nobody is perfect. Nobody. But anyway, I'm not so much a trend follower, but some of them, if they work for my body, of course I'll add them in. So I ordered these jeans online and when they came, I, mm, and I tried them on Lou said, Timmy, they look great on you. So I said, okay, he wouldn't lie to me. So anyway, they do have a little bit of wash going down the front and they're more of a straight, but they're not skinny straights. So uh, to me, this straight cut is classier than a skinny for me. Um, and that's because of my body shape, okay? So I think I look better in this type of jean than I do in skinnies. Although, I, as you saw, I have a couple pair of skinnies. First time this year. All right, so um, these are a size eight. And um, I have these in a six too, and there's not a whole lot of difference in the size. But anyway, took these jeans. And then in one of my food videos I was talking about, I had on my Chanel faux jacket. And uh, I just love this jacket, and I got it at Boston Proper. Love it. And they still have it. I bought this three years ago when I was with Joelle, and now they still have it because I looked it up. I was at Marshall's, and I found this by French Connection, and it's just a really nice white turtleneck, pure white. I look better in pure white than I do cream. And the turtleneck fits really nice, and the sleeves, they hug you. Now, this, was, this is one of those times when I, I went very fitted because this jacket is a little on the bulky side. So I, well, it's not bulky, but you know what I mean. Its texture is very thick. So I put that together with these jeans, and uh, I think I did my black booties with these. I did this, okay? And I think... It looks great. Okay. You could also wear black jeans with these. Not a big deal. Okay, so I really loved this all together. Very casual look. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next one. I stayed with the Luffy jeans just because it was more about the top. This is from Nick and Zoe. I absolutely love it. Again, I will say it. Um, if you like form-fitting clothes, you probably won't like my style. <laughs> but... Um, there's such an elegance to this top and it's so, I think it's sexy in that very silent feminine way and I just love it because it was loose and flowy. It's by Nick and Zoe and it has a little button here. I think they call this their black suede top or something like that. Um, it is black, but anyway, Nick and Zoe and it, it's made to look like it's a shirt that you button closed, but it's not. And as you can see, the back goes a little bit longer than the front and it's just a very beautiful top. You could just layer pearls over this with the jeans and you could just, I went with these. If you're somebody who doesn't have to worry about, you know, uh, the weather, you could wear your pumps with this. Just love this top. I really, oh, let me point out something about these jeans, okay? I liked having the longer tops over these for this reason. When I purchased these, I did not realize that there was this right here, this light stone wash in there, because that will accentuate my little chunks on my thighs even more. And I didn't notice it. I really did not notice it until I watched my, I watched the video this morning of me trying on the outfits to see if I would even show it to you. And when I turned around, I went, oh, well, that's a no-no. And uh, you, you need to be careful of that. If you love the front of the way the jeans look and you don't want to accentuate those, make sure you have a top a little bit longer or you're wearing a nice sweater that's longer, open sweater, flowy sweater, whatever. And that's it, my friends. Okay, my camera cut me off. My battery must be dying. So I wanted to say thank you so much. My hair is really wonky. I did nothing to get ready for this video. Uh, Let me know what you... Uh, tell, tell me what your style is. I have to tell you, there's one girl I follow on Instagram. Well, she's not a girl. She's a woman. And her name is Sherry Style. She has a YouTube channel also. I love the way she dresses. She's very... I would call it... Bohemian chic. And she knows how to dress for her shape. But she loves all that. She gets a lot of her clothes from Boston Proper. And I just, she had on, well, go follow her. Sherry Style on Instagram. Or look her up on YouTube. Maybe if I can find them, I'll link them below for you. 
she just has really she has great style of course there's so many people on YouTube I mean Lisa has wonderful outfits and gorgeous shoes um, so there's many many people but we all have different styles and I am 56 so I, well I'll be 56 in less than 30 days um, my birthday is November 10 56 and it's only a number and you all making me feel better about it too you really do all right I will say it again, go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, lovable. I love you all, my friends. Bisous. Bye-bye.